Palantir could go really parabolic. In my opinion, it will break $40. Hey guys, welcome to the StockTube channel. In this video, I will we will be talking about the Palantir stock and where I see it going into 2021 and further on. So in this video especially, we will be talking about the current uh, resistance levels of Palantir and also the current support level of which Palantir is holding very steady. And we will also take a look at the current trend line uh, and we will try to see how far Palantir could go in within the next few weeks and months based on technical analysis. So if you want to hear more about technical analysis about other stocks, make sure to subscribe to my channel because we will be discussing quite a lot of interesting stocks in the upcoming days and weeks. So make sure to stay with me and subscribe to the channel and I will try to guide you. Here we are at the Palantir candlestick chart. So right now Palantir is trading at $26.19. And it has been trading sideways for the past couple of days and weeks, actually. So if we take at a look, uh, if we take a look at the chart, you can see that Palantir has had a nice bull run starting from November the fourth all the way up to uh, thirty-three dollars and forty-eight cents to till uh, twenty-six of November. That's actually when mo most of the buyers started buying Palantir because if you look at the vo uh, volume uh, on those days, uh, it was actually very high. And uh, most of the people bought the stock and were hoping for another bull run, uh, me included. I was also thinking that Palantir would have gone all the way up to the th uh, 35 and $40 range, but it didn't happen. So uh, when we take at the current MACD, you can see that after the huge run-up, uh, people started taking profits. And you can see that right here on December the 11th, people took started taking profits and we had all the way from there we went all the way from uh, $33 down to around $26 to $27 and we have been trading uh, sideways from that start so you can see currently the we have a very good uh, support level of $22 and also a stronger support at the $23 so uh, right now uh, we are close to $3 up from our support level which was kind of good so Right now, we are just waiting for Palantir to cross the MACD. So if you can see, we are very extended on uh, the bearish channel. It started from December the 11th all the way to this date. We are still in a bearish movement. And that is kind of normal because we had a, quite a bit of run up. And uh, if we want Palantir to go bullish, we will need new, not new contracts. Because basically right now, Palantir has actually gaining a lot of contracts. And the most recent contract was from Japan basically. So uh, Palantir Technologies expands Japan business with new $22.5 million contract on January the 4th. So that's basically like a week ago, Palantir had a 22 million big contract from Japan and this contract was awarded for one year. So it's a one year contract and uh, in partnership with uh, Sampo. So uh, this partnership will basically help improve the healthcare in Japan and they will also help streamline the supply chain of Japan, which is actually huge. So when it comes to increasing security and also the resilience in the region, this contract is really, really bullish news for Palantir. And uh, I was quite surprised that it, it actually didn't move uh, the stock that much. So looking at the RSI, it's currently sitting neutral, I would say. It's not oversold and it's not overbought. We can see that it was overbought at uh, the 25th of November when it went all the way up to $33. But we are still waiting for new contract, guys. So uh, if you can, if Palantir manages to get more contracts, we might actually start a bullish bullish uh, trend, and it could actually be very good because right now we are trading sideways like this, and the MACD is also just waiting to be crossed. So once the the MACD crosses like this and the RSI starts to go higher and gets overbought like the previous section here, we could actually start a new bull run and go all the way and break the resistance of $33. And when we break that resistance level, our support could actually uh, move. So right now our support is $22. This support could actually move uh, like this. I will draw a line just like this. We could be having a brand new support level up around here and it could actually go very bullish uh, from that perspective so Palantir could go really parabolic in my opinion it will break $40 but it's just a matter of time uh, it's trading sideways for now but I believe that Palantir will go 
very bullish because they don't have any competition right now and I believe that they have a lot of potential because they are having a lot of contracts from governments to increase their healthcare and their supply chain uh, to uh, protect themselves against COVID because Corona is actually very big and we are waiting for Palantir to take off and I'm very bullish on this stock so it's going to get very good I think. So here we are at the end of the video at the end of the Palantir uh, stock price prediction. So if we take a look at it, so Palantir currently has a very strong resistance level at the $33 range and until we break that all-time high of $33, uh, I don't see uh, NEO going uh, in a bullish run, So, uh, but we still have quite a lot of time. It's trading sideways for the past couple of weeks basically, but we are currently looking for more contracts and I believe that Palantir will get more contracts because if you take out the previous ones, we had big contracts coming from the US Army and also Recently, Palantir has been getting into the Japanese market with uh, Fujitsu. That's actually really good. So uh, they are expanding their client client base, and I believe that Neo could go in a bull run uh, if it's managed if it does manage to get more contracts in. So uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Palantir stock price predictions. I really appreciate you guys that you watch the video and make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below and I will see you next time. Peace out.